Hustlers. So this is your famous forex mentor, the founder of the technical sharpshooter. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use MT4. So first of all, you have to download MT4. So how to download? You can simply go to Play Store and then search MT4, or you can just simply search MetaTrader 4, and then you click on Install. So this will depend on the speed of your Wi-Fi or whatever you call you wanna call it. So um, yeah, let me pause and then I'll come back after it has installed. So yeah, now it has installed. So you can just go ahead and then click on open. So it will open a demo automatically for you. It will open a demo account automatically for you. And then it lends you to this page. So yeah. And then uh, to add your account, you have to click on the left top there where there's three bars. And then when you click there, and then you click on manage account. After clicking on manage account, you have to click on the plus sign there. So if you want to open a new demo account, uh, you can click there. If you want to log into an existing account, you can click on the second one there. So if you have already have a broker and then you have registered and then you have your login detail, you can click on login to an existing account and then search find broker. Where it says find broker, you just search your server there. You just search your server there. And then, um, yeah, that's that. Um, so let me go back to the account. So, okay. Now, uh, let me show you uh how this thing work the codes and stuff so for the codes you click on the arrows that opposes each other there at the bottom left so you click there these are your codes ne? these are your uh pairs codes we mean pairs so first of all how to add any pair if you want to add the pair you just click on the plus sign there and then it takes you to forex and then you click there and then you look for the pair that you want to add if you don't find it you can just cl simply click on the search there which is the <coughs> which is on the top uh, right there and then you search the code that you're looking for usdjpy for example and then you search uh, if it doesn't appear here it means it is already here for example, you can see USDJPY there. It is already there. So, yeah, that's that. And then if you want to delete, uh, you just click on the pencil there by the top right there. You click on the pencil and then you click on the bin that's been there. And then you mark whichever pair you want to delete. Yeah, so that's that. And then... Um, if you wanna do what let's say now you wanna place an order so what you can do is you can just simply open on the uh, chart of the pair that you wanna place order with and then you click open there and then you click on the uh, rectangle there by the top top right there with a plus in between and then if you click there you will come to uh, instant execution. So this is where you uh, 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 place orders immediately. So for the lot size, you can see there, the first one is uh, instant execution. The second one is the lot size. And then you have two prices there. Uh, the one on the left, it's your stop loss. Mm -hmm. The one on the right, it's your take profit and then followed by duration the time that you wanna uh, uh, please you understand so to buy or to sell you can just simply click there below uh, uh, you can choose one at the bottom there buy or sell let's say you buy yeah so that's that In automatically you have opened an order so what's happening with balance and equity and uh, the balance is the initial amount that you had and then an equity is the amount that you will have after closing this trade. I hope you understand that. 
balance is the initial amount that you had before you close the trade before you open a trade and then equity is the amount that you will have after you have uh, 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 closed the, the, the running trade so how do you close this trade you can simply swipe to the left and then you click on the pencil on the circle there with a mark in between in, in, in the center there and then you click close if it's it's in profit it will say close with profit of whatever whatever now it's in a loss it will say close with a loss and then you close your thing in there you can see now you no longer having a running trade so now let me show you how to place a stop loss and a take profit mm -hmm. so basically a stop loss it's a it's a it's a it's a price at which the current trades that you you've opened when the price reaches them and then you are on a loss it will automatically close and then take profit it's a price with which the current price at uh, the current trades that you trade the uh, when it reaches them <clears throat> when it reaches that price it will automatically close the profit you understand if you are in profit that's the take profit so for a sell if you're selling this thing obvious when it goes up you 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 losing if you sold when it goes up you losing so let's say you place your stop loss here and then this price come up and then reaches that point that way it will automatically close you understand and then if you sold and then it come down and then let's say you take profit is here and then when it reaches this price here that's when it will automatically close again i hope you, you get that point so now let's go ahead and then and set a take profit and a stop loss uh, we do the same thing that thing of uh, placing a trade and then you come here you change your lot size and then to place profit to to place stop loss you have to click on either the plus side or plus sign or the minus sign on the left side and then you click there and then you type your price there so for example uh, let's say your stop loss is that one yeah you tap the price there and then uh, for take profit uh, on the right you click on either plus or minus and then you type the price that you wanna you just simply tap there so here yeah, i'll just uh, adjust this thing uh, by using the plus and the negative sign and then and then you click on sell you've placed your tp you've placed your stop loss so you can see there you can see there there's your stop loss there's your current trades running and then there's your take profit that's it so to check your trading history you can just simply click on the uh, that thing that look like an email there at the bottom one two three four number four you can just click on that thing it will take you here it will show you your history so to customize this calendar you to customize like uh, the the history that you want to view you can just simply click on the uh, calendar there by the top uh, corner there and then you choose whichever you, like uh, the history that you want to view and then um, chat screen you simply go to where there's three candlesticks there and then that's where you will see your chart that's where you will find your chart where there's three candlesticks there that's where your chart is and then um, time frames for time frames what you do is you click on the tie on the circle like on the clock there i hope you all can see the clock there if you click there you will select the time frame that you're looking for m1 m5 m15 m30 you decide which one you want m1 it's one minus time frame m5 it's uh, five minus time frame so with that being said uh, now we are on euro usd chart m5 meaning we are on uh, five minutes time frame so each and every candle here yeah, represent five minutes like it took five minutes for this candle to form 
for this candle to form it took five minutes it also took five minutes for this smaller candle to form you understand that's how you view your time scale so for indicators let's say you want to add an indicator you can just click on the f plus sign there if you click on the f plus sign there you can either delete for for you to delete you click on the bin and then you select and then you delete you understand you can see now we no longer have any indicator to add you click there and then you select the indicator that you want to add for example let's say i'm on add stochastic and then done there it's your stochastic there at the bottom uh, to add another one here you choose whether you want to add on the chart or on the indicator window to when you add on the indicator window it add at the uh, 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 thing in below there at the bottom there on the chart it add there where there's your chart and then uh, what's the next thing that you will want to know uh, let's say you want to set the charts first of all let's delete this thing uh, let's delete this thing what if you want to set the chart so for example if you want to set the chart you just click on the chart when you click on the chart anywhere on the chart this thing will appear oh i'm sorry you click on the top corner there and then um, you click on setting there and then you can see the chart and then you set your setting let's say you want to change colors for you to change colors you just come here where there's colors and then you decide which colors do you want for example uh, let's say bar up we want green and then uh, bar down we want red and then uh, bull candle we want green uh, bull candle is green beer candle is red and then you click done and then you can see when you go to your chart it has changed now you're looking at a different chart yeah so thank you for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed it yeah be sure to hit the red button and subscribe so that you don't miss the next video that i'll upload